Hey everyone, welcome back to the Korean Keto Guy channel. And in today's episode, a little bit of a, if you wanna call it, um, a little bit of a blast from the past, excuse me, wow, a little bit of a blast from the past, right? Uh, one of my very first videos, I actually did a rotisserie chicken, and I even mentioned that I really do eat rotisserie chicken almost like, almost on a daily basis, but you know, because of the channel, and I realized that, hey, you know, everyone's not me, and everyone probably does like a little variety in their life, I wanted to show you guys the many different options, as you can see from all our videos, of what you can do for keto, but this is the tried and true classic, right? The ideal rotisserie chicken setup. What I've got here is a pre-made rotisserie chicken with chopped up red onions, but what makes this extra special is, or ideal, I should say, is that the rotisserie chicken was reheated in the oven, right? Because you can have the microwave, you, you can always microwave it, but I think it just tastes way better if you oven, reheat it through the oven, um, or rebake it. And then of course, in addition to that, you can do other things, right? So I actually baked some broccoli, uh, drizzled some olive oil on that one, and then right, as you can see, I did the onions in here as well. So you're able to kind of bake a bunch of stuff all at once. <laughs> kind of kill a bunch of birds with one stone, right? Um, but yes. Um, also, right, due to the recent events, I know it's probably much harder to get food. And for that reason, you know, for today's episode, for sure, I'm not going to try to eat all of this. As a matter of fact, I usually tend to save some of the meat to then make a chicken salad afterwards, right? So I can eat later down the week. Um, so that's always a good strategy. I'm not a, especially during these times, I'm not a big advocate of trying to eat everything as much as you can because you've got to, you know, we unfortunately have to save it, right? We gotta, we gotta be careful with our food rations, so to speak, at least, at least for now, not forever, but temporarily. So that's why I won't eat all of it today, but definitely gotta bust out your arsenal of hot sauces, right? Check this out, guys. Tried and true Tabasco. Not gonna be using that today, but that's that's always favorite. Ooh, Frank's Red Hot. I think this is also a classic, but for some reason, I've just been craving sriracha a little more than the others. And I think it just goes better with um, chicken, but, and vegetables. So without further ado, guys, um, you know, I'm gonna have at it. Hope you all enjoy. Let's see here. Squirt a little on the side here. Maybe a little bit of the broccoli. But yeah, I've been very fortunate to, uh, very fortunate to be using my Amazon Prime like nonstop to get food ordered. Here we are. Oh yeah, it's crispy, a little, still a little hot. Ooh, obviously if you guys do this, be careful. Eey. Those damn little rubber bands. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the smoke coming out. I didn't even grab any meat. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but. It is 2 p.m. exactly here in New York City. What a great time to break your fast. Mm. Oh my God. Mmm. It's been a while since I've had just straight up rotisserie chicken. Phenomenal. Mmm. Hear that crunch? Yeah, you get a nice crunch from doing it in the oven. Mmm. Hmm. The onions kind of came out like a, a bit like an onion fry. It was really good. Hmm. About like 30 minutes on like 350 or so. It does the trick. Try some of the broccoli here. I don't have a fork, I should probably use my fork, huh? 
Mmm. The broccoli smells really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. You can see the smoke coming out of there. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That was so good, guys. <clears throat> Mm. A little bit of olive oil would do the trick on top. Mm. Oh yeah. It's getting spicy. Mm. And just like in my very first video, I like to target the dark meat first. All right, the dark meat is usually the best. And then the white meat, you can save for later to make chicken salad or anything like that. Mmm. The red onion is really good. It's like little, <clears throat> it reminds me of like little onion wings or onion fries. Hmm. But yeah, this is really good so far. Really happy I'm rationing this out. I'm eating a little piece of everything. I think I can make this last for at least a couple of days. Hmm. Basically shooting to have everything at about half half left. Mm. Not that annoying where we ran off. Who has hot? 
some more dark meat from the underneath, from the from the bottom. I believe, I believe this is the last bit of the dark meat. There we have it folks. Pretty much got everything down to half ration. Take a look. Half of the onions are left there. Majority of the chicken. Just all the dark meat has been eaten. I even left the wings on. So I have about half of my broccoli left. Let me have one more. Mmm. That's so good. Yeah guys, I mean, just because of the current circumstances, right? By no means. Is something that's gonna last forever, right? And it's kind of nice, right? You kind of really get to rethink your diets, kind of rethink your portion sizes. Also, we're probably not getting at you know as much outdoor activity or workouts or exercises in, so kind of maintaining our weight by not by not, by not overeating and stuff like that. I think this is. A, I look at the positives of this, right? Um, you can stay indoors, save monies, portion out your food, so you're not gonna gain tons of weight. Um, so that when you get back. When life gets back to normal, we can still eat and not um, not and not overeat, really. But yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, certainly, rice. Just stay stay extra safe. Um, watch what you're eating. If you're doing keto, right, this is a perfect staple food for keto: rotisserie chicken with some vegetables on the side. And um, and yeah, guys, until the next episode, stay safe. Um, Wash your hands, right? Do what you got to do. Stay indoors and take your vitamins and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.